Hello everyone, and I am here today to help you with a problem that has plagued Windows users for a long, long time. And that is when you can't eject your USB drive, your flash drive, your thumb drive, whatever it is you want to call it, because some nebulous process is still using it. And unlike the Mac, which is much better at this, Windows never tells you exactly what it is that's going on. As you can see here, it just says, this device is currently in use. Close any programs or windows that might be using the device. They don't even tell you what is actually using it or utilizing it or preventing it from being ejected. They just say close any programs or windows that might be using the device. And it's not just programs or windows. It can be some hidden process or something you're not aware of. Simply closing Word or closing PowerPoint or whatever else might not necessarily free it up. So it's not that difficult to figure out what's causing the problem and to close it. And today I am going to show you how. So here, as you can see, I have run into this problem. And the way we determine what program is monopolizing the flash drive is by down here in the, in the search box, this is how I do it anyway, we're looking for Event Viewer. And if we start that, when it comes up, whoops, look, the USB thing is in the way. That's all right, let's move you over here. When this comes up, we want to go into Windows Logs. You want to click on this little guy here and open up Windows Logs and then go into System. And what we're looking for is Event ID 225. So there are many other types of Event IDs that you can run into, but we are specifically looking for 225. And because this just happened recently, and I tested it a couple of times to make sure that it really was locked up, there's a few of them here. But if for whatever reason it's not coming up, if you don't see um, ID 225 right at the beginning where it should be, then you can filter the current log. You can click on this here and type in the specific event ID you're looking for. And if you type in 225, then they will all come up to the front. So we're going to cancel that. But here's the problem. And if you look down here in general, it says the application device. Okay, all right. This is what's causing it. Adobe Collab Sync.exe, and it even tells us the process ID. So now that we know that, it's very easy to stop the thing, right? If we just do Control Shift Escape, it brings up the task manager, and down here, there it is Adobe Collaboration Synchronizer 1910. So there's two of them running. The other thing we can do is if for whatever reason this is not giving us the information we need or we want to find it by its uh, process ID, its PID we can start Process Explorer as well. That's another way of it. And here we are. Oh, I've got two copies running. Here it is. And so if we go back to uh, this guy here, it's specifically targeting Process ID 25292. So if we go back, Process ID 25292, there it is. It's this specific instance of Adobe Collab Sync that's causing the flash drive not to eject. So we can close this, we can close this, and now we know to end these tasks. And when we eject the flash drive this time, it didn't say it, but it actually comes up right there, meaning it's okay to eject the drive. So there you go, very easy. I hope that helps and I hope it prevents all the frustration when you're hunting around trying to figure out exactly what it is that has locked up your flash drive. Have fun.